Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're gonna talk the first time about our towing vehicle, about the Dodge Ram. Yeah, so we're talking about this vehicle. It's a Dodge Ram 1500, 5.7 liter V8 with a eight speed. I think it's an eight speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive. And yeah, it's just perfect to tow things, to transport stuff because it's just huge and with the hardtop, some may like it, some may not. For me, it's just uh, about usability. With the hardtop, I have so much more covered space. It's like now it's just a very, very big station wagon, <laughs> basically. And I have very much space in the back for tires and uh, tools and whatnot. So everything we need to go to the racetrack. And that's why I bought the Dodge. And also because you can use it as a kinda daily. It's usable when, when you go out with friends, when there's a lot, enough parking spaces. So yeah, but one thing I, I really actually love the car. It's just so pleasant to drive. It's actually the, my favorite car to drive. And because it's so pleasant, it's so relaxed to drive it. And But it consumes a lot of fuel. So that's the downside of having a big car with a big engine. But I basically love everything about the car. So as you can see, it's pretty dark outside you can see the headlights and maybe the there's just one thing that's not very good it's not bad but it's also not very good it's like with the gr it's the headlights the headlights aren't the best in the world especially if you have high beam it's not that bright as you'd like it to be we're traveling a lot during the night because we're traveling most of the time to racetracks between 700 and 1000 k's and so we're traveling a lot at night and you want to have good light and that's always one thing that bothers me bothered me a little bit not too much but yeah just a bit so i intend to fix that right now i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fix that in the next couple of minutes or hours but i'm gonna start anyway what are we going to do? We are going to put in this one. It's the, you can see it right here. It's some additional lighting from laser. We got it from the Swiss partner. It's LED light power. They're actually like 15 minutes from here. <laughs> It's not that Switzerland isn't very big, but that's a very nice coincidence. So I met them yesterday and they explained to me how to fit it and install it and uh, all, overall very nice dudes. So what do you get with the kit? You get obviously some wiring loom. You get two of these lamps, which I have to un unpack. And then you get this one, that's the installation kit for the grill. And this thing is actually street legal. I didn't know that because I have no idea about additional lightning, but obviously and apparently they are street legal in Switzerland. I don't know about your country, but maybe it's for you as well, I don't know. But I will show you, of course, some pictures or some footage when it's installed and uh, how it compared not now in the day, it's useless during the day. But when it's pitch black night, I'm gonna looking for, look for a place where I can show you the difference between stock headlights and these bad boys. And this video is not only gonna be about this one, this video is also gonna be about the car in general. So it might be a little bit longer, but it's just an introduction to you about our vehicle. And so, yeah, I'm already staring at it. 
it's just outside the window and I can look at it all the time when I'm in the workshop and working and let's go and try to install this. I'm obviously, I, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I'm gonna read the instruction manual first and then I'm gonna try to install it. Let's see how that goes. So, so far it looks everything very nicely and very good. Connectors are, it looks like they are watertight. The mounting brackets, they are 3D printed. They could be done a little bit nicer, but the parts you're gonna see the, at the front, they are very smooth and painted very nicely. On the side in here, you maybe can see it in here. It's a little bit rough, but that's okay. You don't see that. And it's actually pretty big headlight. I like the, the mounts because they are this one as you, oh, maybe you can see it like this. Yeah, they are not the same height, which means the lamp is automatically not completely straight in the front grill, but it is a little bit tilted to the inside. So you don't have the light all around the edges or to the side, but to the center where you actually want it. So that's a pretty nice feature. And yeah. So now let's go to the installation and cut out the grill where necessary and then rewire or wire it in. Ah, wiring. I think it's not so complicated. You get these two for the lamps, the rulle. I don't know if there's an English word for rulle. Then uh, ground and power. Plus you have a lot of cable left. This one's for the high beam signal. I have to check where that is. And this one, a little switch. I talked to the guy from where I bought it and he told me about the switch and why it is there and why it makes sense. So he explained to me why you need a switch. It's not to turn them off or on completely, but they are, um, they get turned on over high beam, but when it's snowing or heavy rain, you don't want this additional lightning. So you can just kill them with this. You can't activate them with this one alone. You need also high beam, but you can deactivate them. So when, you're high, when you have high beam, it's just the stock high beam. And it's especially when it's snowing in Switzerland, you have very high reflections from the snow and you don't want two of these making additional reflections so that's pretty nice that's why i'm gonna install it so yeah now we have to cut out the grill and let's see how that goes so and this is how they look i haven't the chance to test them yet but and i obviously kind of up with the installation but it wasn't that easy to be honest and it's not that perfect as well because that's my mistake our little gardener <laughs> uh, because it's not made for that grill it's not made for that front grill it's made for the classic front grill I knew that it from the beginning and I hoped I could make it work and I could but it's not that perfect to be honest so I just ordered a new grill the correct one and so I will have to install them again in the correct grill 
because it's just much easier to install them than it is in this one but it looks okay for me or for the moment and it works just fine i tested it just if it works but not in uh in the night or during the night i will do that in i don't know maybe maybe today maybe tomorrow but i will test that for sure and i will show you the footage of it and yeah so um the next time you're gonna see me it's gonna be most likely when we're testing it during the night oh uh, installation it's doable for yourself but the biggest issue i ran into was the installation manual doesn't mention on which wire you have to uh, to put it so it's uh, it took me like 10 minutes to google it and uh, thanks to a nice forum member who mentioned which wire I need to cut or which wire I need to tap into I could do it but the problem is it's a white wire with a green stripe on it biggest problem there are two of them <laughs> so Obviously, I took the wrong one for the first time and then the second second one was a charm. The second one worked quite nicely, but yeah, it is what it is. I just put everything back together as stock and uh, the second wire worked. So you'll have two, green, two uh, white wires with a green stripe and a green wire with a, a white stripe. So. <laughs> but it works so um yeah let's test it during the night and see how good or how bad i don't know but let's see how good they work so this is standard full beam <laughs> it's like do you want to have day yes of course i want to have day so dark not so dark <laughs> yeah so they work for sure maybe I said uh, a little bit high up I have to check so like this oh yeah you can see the I think you can see it, right yeah so they work like a jar I mean that's not too bad right just some light and now it's day <laughs> I honestly really really oh this is gonna be interesting please don't turn on the lights so very nice right and we have day and it's night again and we have day <laughs> that's cool so what's that behind there? Is that a... Oh yeah! Now you can see it. <laughs> oh, I think I need one of those for all of my cars. I mean, look at this. Bam! Bam! That's crazy. So, as you saw, these two right here, they make night into day. And it's really amazing how these two little things just make such a big difference the difference is as you saw on the video is absolutely huge the picture you saw with the with the houses when it's dark and then these are on the houses are roughly 600 meters away so they shine pretty far. The, the problem now is if you um, flash somebody, he might be blind. <laughs> so it's, it's really not very useful when other cars or people are around, but when it's pitch black and you need some light, these are exactly what you, what you want to have. So I'd say that's money well spent and the um, they also work with this grill. I just checked and uh, or I just made a few miles with it 
also on the highway and they're, they're still uh, pretty solid so they work also with this you need to change some bolts but other than that it's perfectly fine so that's it for this video i hope you liked it and have a good week see you next time goodbye